guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we will be installing some paint protection film on my wife's 2021 Hyundai Palisade. So, for whatever reason, my wife has developed a really bad habit of when she opens up the doors, she actually scratches the door cup. So, let's pretend this is her hand. She's going to go open the door for me. And for whatever reason, her fingernails always find a way to scratch the paint inside the door cup. I don't know what it is, it's her rings or whatnot, but what happens is she'll grab the door handle and then over time you end up seeing straight line scratches and they're basically straight down here. And they're usually pretty pretty minor, but for me when I see that it just really irks me. So I went on the Laminex website and I picked up a set of the door cup protection kits. So these are clear paint protection film, you can't even see them. So these are clear paint protection film that actually is cut to fit inside the door cup or the door pocket here and protect that paint from scratches. I already have that that same paint uh, or the same film on the front of my hood on the Rebel as well as on the gas tank. So as far as the Palisade, it's definitely a worthwhile investment to get that stuff installed here sooner than later. That way we can get out ahead of the scratches. So what comes in the order? So this is part number HY1549. You get four door cup protections. You can't buy them in certain colors. You can only get them in clear because obviously this is paint protection film. You don't want a lamp. You don't want, you know, a smoked one or yellow or red or whatever. But these are custom cut for the Palisade and along with the actual film itself, you get a, where did it go? You get this little small spray bottle. And that's why I like Laminex because they do give you most of what you'll need when it comes time to install Laminex film on your car. In this case, they give you a small spray bottle so you can fill this with a soapy water solution. But if you've been following my videos long enough, you know that when it comes time to install Laminex or really any sort of decal or anything on a car, I am a Rapid Tac user. So Rapid Tac is not only a cleaner, but an application fluid for film and stickers. And basically what it allows you to do is you spray whatever surface you're trying to mount a decal or film on, and it gives you the ability to slide that decal around wherever you want it or the film around wherever you want it. And then you use a squeegee like this, or even just a microfiber to then pull all that fluid out from behind the film and give it a nice adhesive to the vehicle itself. Then you hit it with a little bit of heat, evaporate the rest of the application fluid and you're good to go. So let's talk through the steps real quick here and then we'll just dive right into the project. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously make sure the car is clean. I did a quick little lazy man wash because it's supposed to rain tomorrow anyway. So I just cleaned around the door handles because that's really the only area that we're working on. Like I said, it's gonna to storm tomorrow. Um, so I didn't really wanna waste the time to clean the whole car at this point in time. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is wipe down the cup holders with isopropyl alcohol. We wanna make sure that all the minor little grit and everything is out of there. And with a paper towel, some isopropyl, you get a nice clean surface, get all the lint and everything off there and prep the surface real well with that. Then I'll, gonna, I'll go ahead and hit it with the cleaner uh, with some Rapid Tac. I'll spray it, wipe that off and then we'll prepare the film here. So these, okay, when it comes time to install the film, there's a specific orientation that you need to do with these guys. So like I said, it's really hard to see, but on one side, you got a really sharp cut, and on the other side, you got a really wide open cut. So the wide open cut goes towards the rear of the car, and then the sharp cut goes towards the front of it. Then the next thing you gotta look at is the bottom, or part of the film itself is cut longer than the other side. And the longer cut, so the longer edge here, is gonna be the bottom of your door handle. The shorter part is gonna be the top of it. So when I mean the longer and shorter, so first of all, here is where that, the wide open piece, or the wide open cut, that's gonna go along the back portion of the cup here. The sharper one's obviously gonna go around the front because you need a sharper cut there. And then you have a longer cut on the bottom side because the handle or opening is longer here and it's shorter here to give it more of a dynamic look. But that's how that film is gonna get installed. So you have two that'll work on this side and then you'll have two that'll work on the other side. So, like I said, clean it, isopropyl alcohol, spray wrap attack on it, apply the film, use a either a squeegee or a little small, I like these little felt line ones. I think this is gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to get inside there. So ultimately you may just end up using your finger wrapped in a microfiber to get that fluid out of there and then have a heat gun ready to go because you get the rest of that fluid out of there. But this is super easy. Once you do one, you'll be a pro and you'll be able to do the rest of them. So let's go ahead and get everything set up and we'll start with installing the paint cup protectors on the Pally. All right, so we are gonna do a door handle here. So the first step we're gonna do is, again, after we clean everything, is gonna take isopropyl on a paper towel 
and we're gonna wipe everything down nice and good. And what I like to do when I'm doing these films is to get all around the area too. And the reason I do that is because sometimes your approach with the film has to come in from the top. And if you hit above here, you wanna make sure that if you're hitting some of the other paint that's not gonna be protected in the end, that it's uh, at least clean when you bump it. So I'm gonna do this. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rapid tack here and then we're gonna blast everything. So um, probably six or seven sprays just to make sure you have enough. And then the other thing you wanna do is make sure that you have your film ready to go. So this is our film and I had them marked so I know this, this one is the driver's side. But again, that, that sharp cut is gonna go on the front of the handle. The more, the wider, more obtuse cut is gonna go on the rear. And then the longer section on the bottom here is actually gonna line up here. So what I found works best when installing these is align the top because that's what you're gonna see. So you wanna make sure that the top of the film is aligned with right on the edge of the door cup itself. And then from there, just use your finger to slowly work the fluid down. So you wanna work the fluid from the top down so that ultimately this part will stick first and then you'll finish up down here. That way, if you do get any air bubbles or whatnot, I'm not a professional, I will probably get an air bubble or two. That air bubble ends up behind the door handle, not somewhere where you could see it. So, like I said, next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and blast everything with Rapid Tech, and don't be afraid to use a lot. Then we are gonna peel off our door film. So once you peel that off, then the thing you wanna do here is also hit this with some Rapid Tech. Slip it down behind the door handle here. These two hands, and really, the big focus is just on aligning that top portion. And once you get that aligned, you're good. So it'll take a couple tries to do that. All right, so there, we're aligned up on the top here. Like I said, it's also good to have the front of the film wet because that gives a nice smooth surface for when you gotta go to move that fluid out from underneath. So let's pull up here, now the top is done. Basically just gonna go like this and work our way slowly down and it's gonna start to take shape. Now you're not gonna get all the fluid out right away, but um, that's what the heat gun's for later. Almost on, and again, it's popping up a little bit here and that's because I use a lot of that rapid tech solution. But the more you start to get that stuff out, the more sound this install is gonna be or the film's gonna adhere to the paint. So now, this is where it makes sense to have your microfiber, and you wanna do the same thing. And this time, just really start to push a little bit harder. Don't push hard right away on this stuff, but after you get that first level of um, fluid out of there, then you're good to go. So just keep going like this. And I tried the squeegee, but the squeegee unfortunately just did not work in here. So we're gonna go up over this. And there you go. And just slowly work that stuff out. Then the last thing you wanna do, once you have the film on there and most of that fluid out, you're gonna wanna have, again, your microfiber ready and we're gonna hit it with a little bit of heat. You don't need a ton of heat, but just a little bit, cause that will help get and work out the last remaining, cause I got a little bit of bubble in there. We have our heat gun and plastic, metal, paint, bad combination when you're shooting a ton of heat in there. So we're just gonna hit anything a little bit like this, just a tad. Don't put that on your leg, cause I just did and burn my leg. And that's it. Again, the heat lets it take that shape, but it also gives that uh, fluid a head start as far as evaporating out of there. And um, once you get that stuff out, then it's good to go. Typically, you're gonna get an air bubble or two, and over time, that air bubble ends up evaporating or working its way out. Um, but with that said, that is how you install the Door Cup Laminex Paint Protection Film. All right, let's finish up the truck.
right, so our door cup paint protection film is installed. So we did, I started on the passenger side rear handles, then I did the driver's side rear handles, then did the passenger side front, and then ultimately worked my way up to the driver's side door. The reason I did it that way is because when you do a repetitive process like this, you end up finding out what works best by the time you do the last one, and you're really quick at doing it, and at the same time, the bubbles and everything, you'll be really good at installing it, so you're more than likely to do install this one kind of perfectly or Anyway, everything's installed, so let's walk through that process one more time real quick. So we cleaned the car, did Lazy Man clean with soap and water. Then I wiped everything down with isopropyl alcohol. Then after that, I sprayed things with Rapid Tack. So I sprayed the whole handle itself, including above it. That way the fluid would drip down in there. Then when I pulled the film off of the backing, I also sprayed the film itself with Rapid Tack. That made it much easier to apply it. I lined up the top of the door cup protection film up here once that was situated where I wanted it I started using my thumb to start to smooth out the film itself and move the, the fluid out from underneath the film then slowly worked my way down worked that film down all of the film came out the bottom then I went back over it with a microfiber and just did what little fine get the rest of the little bubbles out of there then I hit it with a heat gun just to make sure everything's evaporated as fast as it could and that is it so I like to let these things sit 24 hours before they get beat up by any sort of car washing or anything like that. So definitely 24 hours before you really beat on this. But with that said, that is how you install Laminex door cut protection film. This, will, this process will be identical on pretty much any car that you do, not just the Palisade. But one thing I will do is I will leave a 20% off coupon link down below in the description. And the way that works is you click on that link, it'll open up the Laminex website. If you shop through that link and go to close out your, your, your shopping cart, that 20% will be automatically applied to your cart when you leave. So 20% off of Laminex film is an awesome deal. Anyway, this is the first of what I hope to be many projects in the Palisade. I think I wanna do seat covers in this one. Um, definitely wanna to upgrade to stereo and maybe a few other things. This is the fun car, but it's our family car, so I gotta keep that in mind at the end of the day. I don't need to get ridiculous. That's what the Rebel's for. But since I'm running out of projects on the Rebel, I figured it's time to dive into the Palisade. So with that said, that is how you install the Laminex door cup protection kit or film. That was part number HY1549. I'll leave a direct link for these guys down below in the description. But again, this process will work for pretty much any car, not just the Hyundai Palisade. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Take care.